Hey there, and welcome back to EDO90. Over the next two episodes, we'll be sharing the latest and greatest from Google for Education. So stick around for updates on Chrome, G Suite, and more. Let's get to it. Last year, we launched the Chromebook App Hub, a resource that gives teachers access to tools, apps, and inspiration. And today, we're sharing some new features that'll make it even easier for educators to find what they need, including new search functionality with static URLs to save and share favorite searches, and new filter options that allow teachers to search by class subject, device feature, and more. We're also including additional information about tablet-optimized apps and privacy laws like GDPR and COPA, as well as various Google integrations. Head on over and check it out. We're introducing a new approach that simplifies how Chromebook apps are licensed, purchased, and managed. We've created a collection of six creativity tools for Chromebooks that enable students to create drawings, screencasts, notes, videos, music, and books. App licenses can be purchased from Chromebook providers and easily managed at scale from within Google's admin console with one-click deployment. And for students, no additional passwords or usernames are required. Every app uses Google sign-in to unlock all features and content. For more information, contact your Chromebook provider. We're also excited to share our 2020 device lineup. There's now an even wider range of Chromebooks with shapes, sizes, and price points to suit any educational environment, including a range of more powerful Chromebooks for teachers like the Pixelbook Go. We also launched many new student devices with world-facing cameras and versatile touchscreens, including the Lenovo 10e tablet and Asus Chromebook Flip C214. Last year, we introduced a beta program to create rubrics in Google Classroom when creating an assignment as a way to provide clear, consistent feedback to students. And since then, the G Suite team has been hard at work, acting on feedback from educators. And thanks to that feedback, we're now rolling it out to all Classroom and Assignments users with even more features. Now, educators can create a rubric, reuse a rubric from a previous assignment or other class, and grade with a rubric. Educators can also import and export rubrics as Google Sheet and share with other instructors through Google Drive and automatically calculate a grade from a rubric. Coming soon, rubrics will also automatically save as a draft, so you can pick up exactly where you left off. And lastly, we announced that originality reports are now available for all G Suite for Education users. We'll have an entire episode on originality reports next month, so keep an eye out for that. That's all for this episode, but we'll be back next time with the second round of updates. We'll see you then. Millions of teachers and students worldwide use Chrome OS in the classroom. Check out our last episode to learn about the security features that keep those experiences safe and secure.